Hey, Bunker Labs, welcome to the All In interview series. And I am really pumped to welcome our very festive today, um, Los Angeles city leader, Alicia Hamp. Welcome. Hi, how are you? It's great to be here and great to see you. It's good to see you, and I'll bet at a distance, um, even though we are <laughs> geographically close. <laughs> we are. Yeah, so, um, so Alicia, tell us a little bit about what you do with Bunker Labs, how you got involved. Um, Alicia's also a veteran, so if you can talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so uh, Bunker Labs has just been such a special part of my journey over the past few years. And in fact, when I first got involved with the organization, um, I started a technology company called Salo Classroom. So our whole mission was helping people better connect and feel engaged um, remotely or via technology if they can't all meet in one place. So it's, it's very ironic considering the times we're in now. Um, so as a time recovering tech founder, I went through every single challenge imaginable with starting a company from needing funding, mentorship, just feeling really alone and isolated. And when I found the bunker, I really found like I was in the best place to move my business forward. I made amazing connections. I ended up um, becoming coming on as a city leader. This was probably about a year and a half ago to two years um, by now. And when I first got started with the organization, we only had 10 chapters. So it's amazing to be a part of the organization now and see that we're at 35 and expanding to all 50 states. Um, so I came on board and helped build out the ecosystem in LA as a city leader and then moved up to the development team. And so now I'm involved in fundraising and continuing to build great relationships and help um, military veterans and military spouses across the country find their community, their place to call home and really have the resources they need to feel equipped to run successful businesses. That's awesome. A woman of many hats um, and with a lot of experience. Um, and Alicia, you know, I want you to lend that experience to our conversation today. Yeah. Uh, for your experience, what should entrepreneurs keep doing even amidst uh, a very uncertain environment? Yeah, so this is such a great question. I think for entrepreneurs, um, for one, think of a lot of us were in the military or military spouses or just somehow connected to this great community. And I was in the army for six years. And one of the things I'll never forget is doing land navigation because I'm from LA. I didn't go into the woods. I didn't use a map, but they sent me out there with a, a compass and I had to plot my course on the map. And it was really scary and confusing and unknown, kind of like the situation we're in today. And one of the things the drill sergeant said was, if you feel like you're lost and you get scared, don't panic, but go back and find that last known point. And um, that's the last place you remember knowing where you were. And then from there, just take a deep breath, replot your course and try again. And so applying that to today, I think it is a little scary and unknown. And a lot of us are wondering what the next steps are and what we can do to keep being successful. And I say, go back to your last known point. For me, that's a values conversation. So um, going back to my why, who am I as a person? What do I stand for? And then thinking, what does that path look like for me? What is keeping me on track with who I am as a person? One of our Bunker Labs values is being extremely authentic. So what feels like me during this time? What feels like me for my business? And then plotting your course with that in mind. Um, so some of the ways I'm implementing that is I'm somebody who needs to feel extremely connected at all times. And I tell entrepreneurs, get connected as much as you can right now. Just because we have to be remote doesn't mean you have to isolate yourselves. We have so many amazing programs available for you within Bunker Labs, within our community. So find who you are, figure out that last place where you felt like yourself and safe and like you knew what you were doing. Think of what, what attributed to that at that time and then find a way to get connected remotely. That's great advice. And I think also these connections and these are great uh, times to start these new relationships too, to your yeah. point. Um, that's such a great point um, and good advice. So, and I like the story actually about uh, relating that back to an experience in the military, <laughs> the last known point, I'm gonna use that. Um, so what about entrepreneurs, what they should stop doing that you think they should stop prioritizing or focusing on right now? Yeah. Um, I see a lot of people saying, um, I, you know, I have nothing better to do. Stop saying you have nothing better to do because there's a whole lot of things that you can be doing. Take this as an opportunity to better yourself and, and find that one thing that you really want to do and take the time to do that. Um, 
for me, I'm really busy all the time traveling with Bunker Webs as we're standing up new chapters across the country. And now I have this really exciting time where I get to be at home with my family. And so um, something that I've implemented is just taking the time to sit and really spend thoughtful time with my children. And um, we do something we implemented from our Bunker Labs meetings, but we talk about our, our personal best and then our professional best. So for um, my girls, it's what, it, what happened that was great for them in school. And then I talk about something that was great that happened for me in my day. So stop feeling like you have nothing better to do because you have a lot to do. Um, and then if you are isolating yourself, stop doing that right away and just find a way to get plugged in. I love that and implementing that, uh, those check-ins as we yeah. call them, you know, the segue, if you will. Um, totally. And, you know, the positivity, like, you know, you can definitely feel it from you that like just the optimism of what these opportunities are that people have right now. So mm -hmm. what is your advice for entrepreneurs to start doing right now? Yeah, this is a really good question. And even back to the stop, I think I hear a lot of people say, um, when things get back to the way they were, uh, newsflash, things are never going to get back to the way they were. We, whether we want to believe it or not, are all changing from this experience, hopefully for the better. Hopefully we're learning more about how to stay connected, learning more about what our needs are. We're, as leaders of businesses and organizations, we're learning how to lead differently. So things will never be the same. Um, and advice for, what, we're, what did you say, for things to keep going? Yeah, for what people as an opportunity can start now, like what entrepreneurs yeah. should start. Yeah, what you should start is, um, I would say, really just what is that, decide what that first next step is for you. Um, start realizing that this is the new normal. Find that one thing that has already changed for you for the better, whether it's leading remote teams for the first time um, and how to explore how to become an expert at leading remote teams. Um, maybe for the first time you're looking at um, working with people offshore remotely because you realize the whole world is now being connected through technology. So what is that, that first next step that you can take after realizing that things have changed um, and, and really make yourself the best leader you possibly can in this moment and reach out to your network, find somebody who's, who's really already established themselves as an expert in a space that you want to be in and schedule a time to have a virtual coffee or a virtual happy hour and, and ask them how they can help you get to that first next step. That's great. Um, and also, um, you know, resources are something that we're leaning on right now. There's a lot of different resources. What's something maybe that you've utilized in business that you would suggest other entrepreneurs use as well as a resource? Yes. So one of the things that I think is really helping me right now is in project management tools. So we recently implemented Microsoft Teams, which I think there's just so many things that can be offered in that, but um, finding a tech solution that works for you. So as we're now all moving on to a digital format, we're not meeting with people in person. We might have had a checklist of things that we wrote down every day and, and really met with people. Um, and that's how we figured out what we were supposed to do for the day. I would find a project management solution that brings your entire team into one place. If it's just you, how are you organizing yourself? And um, really lean into technology to keep you organized. So some of the things I love, Microsoft Teams, I think Asana is really great. Um, and then explore ways that you can use technology to feel even more connected. So meetings through Zoom, whether that's with your friends, your teammates, meeting through Microsoft Teams, um, there's, there's plenty of technology out there. That's great. We actually also had one of our guests say that uh, using project management tools now for uh, your life uh, yes. because now you're homeschooling and yes. doing work and everything else. Yeah, I have a personal board in Asana and um, a professional board. So I have all my work tasks and my personal tasks and something that I found that I did really recently that was really helpful. But I wrote all of my feelings down in Asana and I said, I'm really feeling overwhelmed today. Um, and that's okay. We all are a little bit, but I wrote down every single thing that I was feeling and um, I wrote down things that were different about my schedule now that I used to do before and um, just really gave myself that space to sort of project manage my emotions and it was really helpful just to get it out of my head. 
That's a great approach. I think, and that's something project manage your emotions. I love that. Yeah. That's so, that's interesting and unique and, and something that sometimes maybe we need to do as well. Um, yeah. Well, we will drop links to those resources below so you can check out Asana for yourself. Alicia, thank you so much for giving us your time yeah. and, and providing some insights. And we hope to see you in LA in person uh, eventually soon. <laughs> yes, we will see you as soon as we can. If not, we're just a Zoom call away.